so now what i can do is i can define this address 0x80 and i can write reg1 equal to 0x94 so that the 1001 0100 will be written to this register in this format starting from 0x80 so this is the method of writing byte to the register in a microcontroller and this is method 2 so you can see this method 2 is also having a drawback that is we are making the bit 7 4 and 2 as 1 here by writing the value 0 x 9 4 to this register but we are unnecessarily making the bit 6 5 3 1 and 0 as 0 so this is not needed right so this method 2 is applicable in almost all the 8 bit microcontrollers but for setting individual bits or for clearing individual bits we will see two more methods which is applicable in almost all the microcontrollers before going to that let's discuss some of the operators that you need to understand clearly before entering into embedded c so you can see this is bitwise r bitwise and bitwise not bitwise xr bitwise left shift bitwise right shift there is nothing but all the bitwise operators we are just going to discuss before that you just want to remember this or gate and gate xor gate and not gate so in or gate you just see 0001 is 1 10 is 1 and 11 is 1 in and gate 0001 and 0 1 is 1 10 in xor gate you can see 0001 is 1 10 is 1 and 11 is 0 and in not gate we are having only one input so if the input is high the output will be low and if the input is low the output will be high so these are the basic gates that you want to remember before entering into the concept so let's take the bitwise r so consider the same register 1 initially let's assume this is having a value 0x d4 that is nothing but d is 1101 and 4 is 0100 and if you take any 8 bit value like this 0x48 0100 1000 1000 is 8 0100 is 4 so if i want to or this register 1 with this 8 bit value i will get the result of like this so you can see 1 or of 0 is 1 1 or of 1 is 1 0 or of 0 is 0 1 or of 0 is 1 0 or of 1 is 1 1 or of 0 is 1 and 0 or of 0 is 0 0 0 is 0 so the purpose of using this bitwise operators in embedded c is it will be processing all the bitwise data available in the registers like this so here as i said it will be oring this value this bit value with this bit value and it will be producing the result so finally i am getting the result as 0x dc and let's take the second operator i am taking the same register 1 with same value 0x d4 and same 8 bit value 0x48 and if i want to und this register 1 with 8 bit value i will get the result like this so we know the und gate 10 is 0 11 is 1 is 0 0 0 0 0 1 is 0 1 is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
and let's take the let shift operator so the same value is assumed now also 0x d4 in the register 1 if i left shift this register value by 1 what will happen is the bits available in the 0th position will be moving to the first position and first position bit will be moving to the second position and it goes on like this and this value that is present in the 7th bit position will be vanished so here you can see 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 so you can see this one has been vanished and this one is available over here in the 7th bit position and 0 comes here 1 comes here and 0 comes here and this one comes here and we are getting these two zeros over here and this position will be filled with 0 so we are getting the result as 0x a8 so here you can see the left shift operator is moving the data from lsb to msp and similarly we are having right shift operator where the bits can be moved from msb to lsb direction so if you take the same example we are having 0xd4 as the initial value in the register 1 and if i want to right shift this register data by 1 this 1 will be moved right by 1 bit so this one comes here and this one comes here this 0 comes here and this one comes here and this 0 will be moved to the right here and this one will be moved here and this 0 will be moved here and this 0 that is available in the 0th bit position will be vanished so here we will be getting the 0 value that is initial value of the register so the result of the right shift of 1 to this register will be 0x6a so that's all about the operators that you want to know for understanding basics of embedded C. So this is the method 2. In this, as I said, we are making bit 7, 4 and 2, 1 and rest all the bits 0 by writing 0x94 to the register 1. And in the method 1, as we discussed, we are making the bit 4, bit 2 and bit 7 individually as 1. Here, we are writing a byte of data forcing all the rest of the bits to be 0 and bit 7, 4 and 2 as 1. But here what we are doing is we are not disturbing the bit 6, 5, 3, 1 and 0 but we are writing 1 to bit 4, 2 and 7 individually. So this bit access method is not allowed in all the microcontrollers but some microcontrollers is allowing it. But if it is not allowing what can we do is you can use another method for setting a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller that is nothing but method 3 which is used for setting single bit of a register let us assume one example that is i just want to set the bit 4 of this register or i just want to write 1 to the bit 4 of this register register 1 which is located at 0x80 so this is the register 1 with 0 as the initial value you can see i am assuming the register value to be 0 initially and i want to set the bit 4 so this is the format so register 1 equal to register 1 r of 1 left shift of 4 so if i do this this will set the bit 4 leaving all the other bits undisturbed let's understand this line so one left shift of 4 is nothing but a 8 bit value with 1 left shifted 4 times. Now you can see 8 bit register is having an initial value 0000000000. 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000. And what I am doing is I am just writing 1 to this register. So what happens is the 1 will be available in the first position. So right over here in the 0th bit position. And I am left shifting this 1 by 4 times. So what happens is the one that is available over here will be shifted to the left four times. So one is available over here, left shift of one, two, three and four. So this is the value that we get for one left shift of four. So I hope you understood that. So one left shift of four is providing me the value 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So if I or these two values 
register 1 with 1 left shift of 4, you can see 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you can see I am getting 1 at this position bit 4. Now what I am doing is as per our statement, we are writing this value that is the result to the register 1 itself. So our statement is register 1 equal to register 1 or of 1 left shift of 4. So you can see we have set at the bit 4 of register 1. So we are not disturbing the other bits you can see whatever the value that is available in the rest of the bits 0, 0, 0, 0 or if it is 1 if I or this value even if it is 1 if I or this 1 with 0 I will get the same value right so if it is 1 if I am ORing it with 0 I will get the same value 1 so now it is 0 so I am ORing this value with 0 I am getting the 0 as the result so whatever the value may be if you OR that value with 0 we will get the same value so this is the concept and if I take the same example for setting these three bits bit 4 2 1 7 I can write like this register 1 equal to register 1 or of 1 left shift of 4 or of 1 left shift of 2 or of 1 left shift of 7. So I will get this result. So both are same but now by this line we are not disturbing the rest of the bits. And let us see the method 4 and this method is used for clearing single bit of a register. So now in the method 3 we just discussed how we can set the individual bit in a register. Now we can see how we can clear a bit in a register. Let us take the same bit. I just want to clear the bit 4 of the register. Or I just want to write 0 to this register bit 4. Assume that I have made this bit 4 as 1 and all the other bits as 0. And now I just want to clear this bit 4. So the statement is register 1 equal to register 1 ampersand of negation of 1 left shift of 4. So this is the statement for clearing the bit 4 without disturbing the other bits. Let us understand this statement. 1 left shift of 4 is nothing but we are taking 8 bit value left shifted by 4 times. So if I write a 1 to this 8 bit value the 1 will be available in 0th bit position. And then if I left shift this 1 by 4 bits, you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4, I am having the 1 in the 4th bit position. Now according to the next statement, when I negate this 1 left shift of 4, I will get 1 in the places of 0 and 0 in places of 1. As we know, NOT gate will provide us the inverted output. So 0 will provide me 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 will give me 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the output of negation of 1 left shift of 4. So let us see the output register 1 ampersand of negation of 1 left shift of 4 will give me this result. It is nothing but 1 ampersand 0 will give me 0. That is we are clearing the fourth bit. Regarding all the other bits you can see whatever the value that you are having here if you unt that with 1 you will get the same value. So if I am having 1 over here, let us assume if I am having the 7th bit as 1, if I perform und operation of this 1 with 1, I will get 1. Since I am having 0, I am getting 0. So whatever the value you are having, if you und that with 1, you will get the same value. That is the concept. Now as I said, we have successfully cleared the 4th bit. And again as per our statement, we are storing the result in the register 1 itself register 1 equal to register 1 ampersand of not of 1 left shift of 4. So similarly you can also perform multiple clear operations like this 1 left shift of 4 ampersand of negation of 1 left shift of 2 ampersand of negation of 1 left shift of 7. So that's all about the basics of embedded C how you can set and clear bits in a registers of a microcontroller to sum up in method 1 we saw how you can write a value to a separate individual bits of the register and method 2 we learned how you can write 
one byte of data to the register and in method 3 we just discussed how you can set a particular bit in a register leaving all the other bits undisturbed and in method 4 we studied how you can clear a single bit of a register without disturbing all the other bits. So I hope you understood all the contents. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.